Usher's upcoming Super Bowl 58 halftime performance may be spectacular, but he won't be cashing in on it. Like other halftime acts, he's not getting paid a cent for the show. The Super Bowl's policy of not paying performers isn't new. While the NFL covers all production costs, artists like Usher perform for free. However, the exposure and streaming boosts they receive afterward make it worthwhile. In 2023, 118.7 million fans tuned in for Rihanna's halftime show, where she announced her second pregnancy. Spotify reported that Jennifer Lopez's stream spiked by 335% after she appeared during the 2020 Super Bowl while Shakira's went up by 230% the same year. Rihanna's Spotify streams increased by more than 640% across the US, as well as boosting sales for her Fenty makeup and Savage X Fenty lingerie line. With a net worth of 180 million, Usher's career spans decades of hit albums, sold out tours, and lucrative endorsements. From his chart-topping albums to successful Las Vegas residencies, which he reportedly grossed 12.9 million in just 14 shows, totaling an average over 2 million each night. He released his first album in 1994 at the age of 15. His 2004 album Confession sold more than 1 million copies in the first week and led to three Grammy Awards. Usher's Truth Tour was one of the highest earning in North America, grossing 29.1 million. The OMG Tour grossed just under 75 million, helping the singer earn $46 million in one year. Usher's accomplished extend beyond his singing career. He's also a savvy businessman and entrepreneur. Known for hits like My Boo, he's landed endorsement deals with Belvedere Vodka, Samsung, Microsoft, Pepsi, and Remy Martin. Additionally, Usher served as a coach on the fourth and sixth seasons of The Voice, reportedly receiving a $7 million offer for his participation in the competition. Despite the lack of payment for his Super Bowl performance, Usher's wealth and success remain undeniable, and his upcoming halftime show is for sure to captivate audiences worldwide.